But also over the years, so you've had Shaken Stevens, Boney M, Slade, but for the last four years, the coveted number one spot for Christmas has been held by Lad Baby and novelty songs like Mike was saying about sausage rolls. So this year they've rewritten Band-Aids, Do They Know It's Christmas Stories, Money to Tackle, Food Poverty, and the track even features money-saving expert Martin Lewis. Can he sing? We don't know. Is the video. It's Christmas time. Let's come together for food aid. This Christmas time, the nation's skit and are underpaid. The Christmas lights aren't flashing. Cos people can't afford the bills. We all need Martin Lewis this Christmas. Christmas time Charity's really coming home There's a food bank on every corner Feeding people every day And if we all come together We can finally make that change Turn up the Christmas music Well, Mark Coyle, otherwise known as Lad Baby, joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? We were just exclaiming that we, we've always spoken to you, kind of what we call down the line, kind yeah. of live video. Very tall. Yeah, six foot eight. It's a thing that surprises everyone. Yes. Everyone thinks my wife is just really short. She's five foot six. I, I did actually think she was. Yeah, very no, short. she she's average height. It's me that's the giant. Ah. <laughs> um, a lot of work has gone into getting people involved in this. I mean, give us a rundown of like, how you went about it and where the idea came from. Yeah, uh, well, obviously we do songs every Christmas for the food banks, the Trust will Trust. We try and raise as much money and awareness as we can for those. Obviously, we've had the last four Christmas number ones. Uh, and this year we became ambassadors for the Trussell Trust and we knew with the cost of living crisis, the energy prices going up this year, we had to do whatever we could to get the Trussell Trust talked about again this year. So uh, we reached out to Band-Aid, the Band-Aid Trust, asked them if they would ever consider letting us rework their song and we we're honoured to say they did. So we went away, we have rewritten it, we tried to make the lyrics about the year, what's going on, about the food banks and also be a bit silly and try and make everyone smile. And you got Martin Lewis involved. The money-saving expert. Yeah, we, we wanted to get someone involved that knows about the struggles that are facing a lot of families at the minute, and he, he more than most, uh, helps everyone. He's helped me when I, when I wanted to get my mortgage. He was a person I turned to, and I think a lot of people do, so he was great. And he can sing really well. I think that's well, what that's everyone's been blown away by. We well, gave him the Bono line, and he delivers it yes, with... Yes, we, we actually heard it in the clip we heard a moment ago. He's got quite a good voice, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, when he first came in, it was we had to, you know, encourage him to sing, and then by the end of it, we had to tell him to, to stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was good, yeah, I think he's shown me up a little bit. <laughs> I was thinking about you, there was a piece, I don't know if you saw it, just a few minutes ago we ran, about people who are working in charity sector, mm. and you know, food banks, whatever, and the real pressures they're under at the moment. People's, you'll know this from the work mm -hmm. you've done before, people's generosity... I mean, I never cease to be amazed by people's generosity, and you see that firsthand, don't you? Yeah, you know, we, we help out at food banks, and it's, it's, it's the generosity of people that, that keep the food banks going, you know. I was in a food bank um, only last week, and, you know, they were saying the problems that they're seeing. You know, food banks initially were set up uh, and was helping people that was homeless, people that were single. Now they're helping Sorry, families, they're helping children, they're helping nurses, people that are already working. Um, so, yeah, it's people's generosity, people that have downloaded our songs. Thank you. That's, that's, that's how it's helping. How long... Um, what differences have you seen in terms of the food bank and what people are asking for and when you talk to volunteers? I, I mean, the difference is, is who's coming in. Mm. It is. That is, you know, in the last six months, 230,000 parcels went out to children. Um, and, and that's what's the most terrifying thing. It's, it's people that are working that are now needing to use food banks. You know, one of the volunteers I spoke to last week, she said that um, some of the elderly people they have come in, they give the food parcels to, they're then giving that food to their pets because that's all they have. And that's what 
that's what breaks your heart. It still affects you then yeah, when you see this? Yeah, it does. It's, it's, when, it's when you go in. It's when you go in and you meet the volunteers and, and you see the impact that, that it's having. That's, that's why you come on a bit, quite a journey, haven't you? Because, I mean, you can see the emotion in mm. you now as you're talking about it. I, mean, I don't know how the lab baby thing started, but it was a bit of fun, really, wasn't it? And you being a dad and, and conjuring things. And now it's, it, I feel like it's taken a real turn for you into something that, you know, is a pr proper driver for you that you really care about. Yeah, you know, initially it was, it was set up um, as a way for, for me to learn how to become a dad. I became a dad, I didn't know what that meant, I didn't have friends that was parents, so I wanted to document my journey. And as the following started to grow, we wanted to give back. Me and my wife, we felt like if we have a platform, use it for positivity, use it to help people. We know what it's like, we was, we, we've struggled in the past, we, we know what it's like putting food on the table. So now that we have a platform and people support us, use that to help other people. And that's what we always try and do. With a smile, you know, you can help everyone with a smile, can't you? Um, Workload-wise, how do you balance stuff? Um, we just we just crack on and we, 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 we do it as a team. You know, me and Rox are a great team. We, we divide and conquer and we just... What's, what is fun. the big plan? Because I know the intention wasn't to have another single out. Mm. Because there is always that danger, isn't it, that's gimmicky sure. and... You know, oh, that lot again. We've we've given them three years, kind of thing. That's sure. you know, there's always that temp there's always that, that thing that risk, isn't there? Of like, are we just going to annoy people? Or absolutely, the 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 problem that that we faced was how is it that we get everybody talking about the trust of trust again, right? So six months ago, when we're looking ahead to Christmas, how is it that I get invited onto this show, and I don't know how else I do that other than releasing a song. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to a point where. Is next year, do we do a live show? Do we do a performance? Do we, I don't know. But how is it that we can get everybody talking about the food banks again that doesn't involve my terrible singing voice? Did, did you consider uh, just putting out there any other songs for this? For example, uh, I'm going to get the title right oh, now. Don't Grandma, do uh, We Love You, which is um, a classic 1980 Christmas number one. Did you think about redoing that one, for example? Don't. I mean, only if you're going to join us on the singing. Now, there you go. <laughs> I like singing. I'm not and a good singer, no, as everyone actually, knows, but I like singing. True. I'm he the does... worst combination of someone who's not very good at singing, but likes to sing. Charlie does actually have a very lovely voice. Right, it's OK. a lovely baritone. Well, well, we'll put that to the test and maybe, maybe that's next year. Well, I can immediately <laughs> see... <laughs> I know I'm what you're... I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking. How do I, how do I get out of this? I think, <laughs> I think what we've now just confirmed is there will be no Lad Baby single next Christmas. I think we've now just about pretty much confirmed that, haven't we? <laughs> um, when people get in touch, because obviously social media is another way, is where you can be on this sofa, you can be on lots of television programmes. Sure. People get in touch on social media. I mean, there'll be lots of the fun comments, mm. but what other stuff do they say? People say. It's social media is is a place where you're going to get good, you're going to get bad. But are they telling? Are they kind of connecting? Kind of thinking, you get what I'm feeling at this moment in time. Do what do I do? Our followers what get what what I'm thinking yeah, at this time? Yeah, in like terms of like. Or them sharing their issues and struggles. Absolutely. You know, I, I had a message only two days ago from from uh, a policeman, a policeman that has been a policeman for over ten years. He's now having to take on a second job working in the supermarket because he's not making ends meet. Um, two weeks ago, I was in Sports Direct by my little boy some football boots, and a, a woman came up to me and she said, uh, two years ago she fell on a hard time. She she was homeless. She had her children to take an offer, and it was. No, from watching us, she knew about the trust of trust. She knew where to go. She got quite emotional, um, but said, "Thank you, basically. Thank you for, for, for the support that we've given, and it's helped. It helped her get her back on her feet. She's now got her children back. She's now volunteering. She's helping in her community. So, I mean, that's the motivation. If people want to be horrible, let them get on with it. But." We're doing it for the right reasons. You, I tell you what, you've done a great job somewhere. There'll be yes. people who immediately now, having heard more from you, and they've probably heard from you already before, will have just go and buy it. I hope so. Buy the thing, and uh, they will do good things. So it's lovely having you here this morning, by the way. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. And carry on doing good things, and you never know if you get number five, number six. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really you never, you never know. I'm genuinely <laughs> uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just how I like it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank Thanks, Mark. Take care. Uh,